Trail Breaking versus Threshold Breaking Which technique should you use in karting? Firstly, it depends on which type of kart you're driving. A typical rental kart only has 9 horsepower, so it's essential that you keep the revs high when cornering. In this case, you should use Threshold Breaking for the necessary corners, such as a tight hairpin turn. It's a short braking period where you apply a high amount of brake pressure until you feel the rear end of the cart start to rotate. This is when you immediately release your foot off the brakes and get right back onto the accelerator before you hit the apex of the corner. Threshold braking allows you to slow the cart down quickly and sufficiently to take a corner smoothly whilst helping your cart with rotation and also minimizing the amount of time you spend on the brake pedal so you can keep your revs high. Now the key to threshold braking is braking early before the corner. By braking early, you're sacrificing a little bit of time on corner entry in order to get the best possible acceleration through the corner and this will help you maximize your exit speed. Especially in rental carts, you have to experiment from cart to cart where the threshold is for braking. So spend the first three laps of every session gradually increasing the brake pressure for the corners which you need to brake at. This way you build confidence in braking and you're able to suss out how well the brakes are in that cart. Now on the other hand, if you're driving a two-stroke cart like Rotax or IAMI, you're better off trail braking. Trail braking is a late but hard braking period followed by progressive easing off the brakes as you get closer to the apex of the corner. You need to brake hard in a straight line and carry the brakes into the corner. As you feel the rear end of the cart rotate and you initiate your turn in, this is the time to start bleeding off the brakes. And by the time you reach the apex of the corner, you should be off the brakes completely and now start feeding the power to accelerate out of the corner. In two stroke carts, you've got 30 horsepower, so you can afford to brake much later into the corners and still have decent exit speed because you've got more power in your engine. However, trail braking in two stroke carts is very dependent on the condition of your tires. For example, when I put a fresh set of tires on, I'm able to brake so much deeper into the corner and turn the cart with minimal steering input. When I was on an extremely used set of tires, I had to brake much earlier because there was no grip, otherwise the cart would understeer severely in the corners. Trail braking in two-stroke carts is one of the most enjoyable techniques to master. It rewards a brave driver who's willing to brake extremely late and trust his tyres will grip. If you watch the top drivers in Rotax or IAMI Championships, they brake very late in the corners and you can see the weight transfer to the outside tyres when they're cornering. So to conclude this video, slow carts require threshold braking and fast carts require trail braking. Let us know in the comments what braking techniques you use in karting. And if you've got any karting footage you'd like me to review and give you some improvements on, be sure to join our live track help discussion on YouTube every Sunday at 6pm GMT. But until the next video guys, I'll see you next time.